Okay, welcome to another lesson. This one's on section 6.3. And this one deals with perform function operations. and composition. So let me start you off with an example here. Let's say um, f of x equals 4x with 1 half power and g of x equals 8 times x to the 1 half power. Here's what we want to do. We want to do f of x plus g of x f of x minus g of x f of x times g of x and f of x divided by g of x. So it's very simple what we do for each of these cases. Um, switching colors. So for the first one, just add. So it comes 12x and one half power. So I combine like terms. For the next one, just subtract. So I'm doing 4x a half minus 8x a half. So you get negative 4x a half. Uh, for C, just multiply. So you have 4x a half times 8x a half. So 4 times 8 is 32. And because you have two powers of the same base, you can add the exponents. So it just becomes 32 to the x. Oh, sorry, 32 times x. Um, and then here, just divide. So you have 4x to the half divided by 8x to the half. Those just cancel. So you just get 1 half. So pretty simple stuff there. Just using the properties of exponents and uh, combining stuff. Um, the next one's going to be a little bit tricky. And um, what this will deal with will be um, something called composite or composition of functions. So let's work that out right now. So changing colors. Go back to green again. So let's say f of x equals um, 2x minus 7. And g of x equals x squared plus 4. Here's what we want to do. Part A, let's find f of g of x. So we say f of g of x. And in part B, let's find g of f of x. So this case say g of f of x. Okay. So in this case what you want to do is replace x with g of x 
or f of x equation. So remember, f of x equals 2x minus 7. So what I'm going to do is now re replace the x with g of x, and replace the x here with g of x. So it now equal 2 times x squared plus 4 minus 7. Because remember, that's g of x. I'm replacing x with g of x. So you get 2x squared plus 8 minus 7. You get 2x squared plus 1. Um, for next one, replace x with f of x for the g of x equation. So if I want g, now I know g of x equals x squared plus 4. So now I'm replacing x here. Erase, erase with f of x. And so now I'm squaring f of x. So it'll be 2x minus 7 squared plus 4. Work it out, I get 4x squared minus 28x plus 49 plus 4. So we get 4x squared minus 28x plus 53. Um, let's add a few more things here. For part C, find f of g of, let's see here, 2, and g of f of 3. So for this one, here's how you want to do it. You could plug in 2 for x into result for part A. So if you look at part A, the result is 2x squared plus 1. So if you work it out, you should get 9. Or, you could find g of 2, and then use that result to plug into f of x. So if I did that, g of 2 would equal 2 squared plus 4, which is 8. And then if I plug that result into f of x, so if I try to find f of 8, 2 times 8 minus 7, voila, you get the same thing. We get 9. So think of this like... like the function machine. And the way the function machine works so here's g of x you plug 2 in, out comes an 8 Sorry, not a good artist. And there's f of x. Plug that in, and out comes a 9. You may have seen this in middle school. So, it's not really too bad. Um, let's try one more.
for uh, grins and giggles. And then um, I'll be done. So number four. Um, f of x equals 4x to negative 1 and g of x equals 5x minus 2. Okay. So find f of g of x part b find g of f of x and part c find f of f of x. And I just realized I asked the question earlier, which you didn't quite answer. G of f of 3. So, pause the video and try to work that out right now. I'm going to work it out in my head. Okay, do you have an answer? The answer should be 5. Um, that's because you want to do f of 3 first, which will be negative 1, and then you want to do g of negative 1, which will be 5. Okay, now coming back down here. F of g of x. So, let's use a different color for contrast. Uh, let's try blue. So, remember, f of x, that actually equals 4 over x, because remember, the negative 1 goes for the x there. Not the whole thing, just the x. So it's 4 over x. So f of g of x equals 4 over 5x minus 2. Uh, for part b, g of f of x, remember g of x equals 5x minus 2. So g of f of x we have 5 times 4 over x minus 2. So it's 20 over x minus 2. And then lastly, f of f of x. So f of x equals 4 over x. So if you plug a function into itself, you're replacing the x with that function. And whenever you have a fraction over a fraction, or sorry, whenever you have a number over a fraction, it would be 4 times x over 4. So that flips, because it's on the bottom. So you just want to getting plain old x. That one. So we're going to do more of 6.3 on um, Friday of this week because uh, the classwork for um, 6.3 will occur during block number 2 of the week after Thanksgiving. Um, so the new video I'll do, um, that you'll watch Thursday night, right before Friday's class, will be an extension of 6.3, because I'd rather do 6.4 when we get back from uh, winter break, uh, since it kind of ties in well with Chapter 7. So um, I'm done with this video. And I'll see you guys um, when I see you.